Hey besties, this is a quick video on how to add cut lines to your vector file in Adobe Illustrator. We'll do this by using bleed. Bleed allows for you to cut right around the design without any white excess showing. I have another video on cut lines using offset to make your sticker one piece, like this sticker in the top corner, which has the white border. So if you want that version, see the offset cut lines video. Let's dive into Adobe Illustrator so that I can show you how to use bleed. Here's my Aloha design. You can see that I have text with some graphic elements laid on top of it. So first I want to make sure I have my toolbars open. You want to have properties and pathfinder open. To do this, we go into window and select the ones that we need and it'll pop up right here. These are the two essential tools that I like to have open. First step to make cut lines, we'll need to select all the graphics. We want to duplicate this exactly right on top of each other so that the cut lines line up with the design. To copy and paste, you can either use the shortcut keys or go to the top clicking edit, copy, and paste in place. I'll move the duplicate just so that you can see that it's there and then I'll just undo that to keep it right on top. And on the right, we'll go to the toolbar to click Unite underneath Pathfinder so that it makes everything one solid color. Now in this toolbar, we'll take the fill color and drag it into the stroke. Now over in your properties toolbar, you can adjust the thickness of your stroke. The thicker you make the stroke, the more margin for error you have, and I usually leave it at about three points. When I zoom in here, you can see the excess black over the blue line, and that's our bleed. From here, we can actually toggle off the fill color so that we can see our design. And then we'll go up to duplicate this by going edit copy and edit paste in place. It creates another line on top of that. And what we're going to do is use the Roland VersaWorks swatch color. We'll make sure to click stroke so that we get the stroke and not a fill. And then we'll select that cut contour color. You generally want the stroke much less like 0.25 and you can't really see it too well here, but let's zoom in so that you can see the magenta cut contour line, which is on top of the bleed. We're pretty much all set here, but I'll adjust my artboard so that I don't have so much extra space, which the printer will read as part of the design. And we don't want that because if we wanted to make many copies, it's going to think that it needs that much margin and it won't allow you to print multiple stickers in the same row. All right, that looks perfect. Let's see how it turned out after printing and cutting. So for the sake of time, I didn't let this sit and out gas. I'm actually weeding it right after it printed, which is why it's kind of tacky and it doesn't weed as easily. If you let it sit for a few more hours, it's usually so much easier to peel and you don't have to use the weeding tool to push everything down. But for the sake of this video and for speed to get this in your hands right away, I went ahead and weeded it and it turned out just fine. Um, I would recommend waiting before you weed it though. Since there isn't any background holding all of these pieces in place, we actually have to remove the inside of the letters. And luckily this design doesn't have a lot of those pieces to weed out. Now that we're done with that, let's go ahead and add some transfer mask. Alright, and there you have it, two different ways to do cut lines using the same design file.